What's good, y'all? Key to Success here, back with another video. Before I get into it, you already know what it is. Please like the video for me. You're gonna push it to the algorithm. Uh, comment. Uh, let me know how y'all thought the video was. But we're gonna get into it. All right. So we're gonna, today. We're gonna talk about the five biggest expenses being an owner operator and having a trucking company. And I'm gonna give y'all one bonus. So I'm gonna give y'all six today. All right. All right, so number one, we're going to talk about insurance. Insurance is probably one of the, the biggest ones uh, because you can pay up to, you know, I'd say about the average between ten and 12000 but it goes up from there. Um, like when I had my driver on, it was about, at first, just for him, just because he had, a, you know, some issues with his CDL, uh, some tickets and whatnot, and this was just bobtail insurance. It was... Uh, twenty four thousand. Then I added myself. It was seventeen thousand for the year. So yeah, it can get pretty expensive, and y'all wonder why. You know, people, not people, but you know, companies are, are so strict on who they take on, or they're so strict on how they let people go, because you cost them a lot of money to keep you on. And this is not even talking about cargo and liability, because uh, that's another. 10,000, 12,000 possibly at first. And then obviously added drivers, more equipment, it goes up. Also, another thing, if you have newer equipment, expect that bobtail insurance, you know, the uh, the bobtail non-trucking liability, so the comprehensive is going to be up there. That's what's going to cost you the money. So the newer the truck, the more expensive it's going to be because you got a $100,000, $200,000 truck, they're going to charge you more. If you got a $25,000 truck, you're not going to pay that much. So keep that in mind. All right, number two is fuel. Fuel is probably the next biggest thing. Um, I, I, again, these are not in no particular order, but I say fuel is a big part, though, 100%. Uh, on average, I average about, I do about, 2,000 miles a week, and I probably spend about 13, 1,400 on gas a week, basically. And this is running the East Coast. And before, when I was running out the West Coast, about 10 days worth, um, about 5,000, 6,000 miles, I was spending in between probably about $5,000. Between the ten days, you know, about I spent about twenty two two thousand twenty two hundred to the west to California, and about the same amount back, give or take. It it all averages, but that's a lot of money right there. That's about at least twenty five percent of your uh, gross income typically. So the fuel is up there in the cost, and we're not even going to configure if you got a good truck that's getting a good miles per gallon at you know seven eight, um, or if you're getting one at uh, like my, I got an older truck. Mine's at about five, five point six six. Um, but let's say you know five. Um, I'm not getting very good miles per gallon. So, you know that that's part of it too. So, keep that in mind. Number three, your maintenance and repairs on trucks. Um, it can get pretty expensive, and you got blowouts. You know. Maybe possible trailer damage, truck damage, um, brakes. It's it's all over the place. Like for me, you know, I when I first started, I spent about four thousand dollars on eight tires on the trailer, and, and then later on, later like six months down the road, I spent about I got new drives, and that was about almost about and that was just four. But I got some expensive ass ones. It was about. 2500 I believe, on the drive. So it gets pretty expensive. And not to mention, if y'all don't know, if y'all steam from my past videos, I had a, a CPC module go out on my truck, which is like one of the computers on the truck. Uh, it wouldn't let me put my truck in gear. And uh, I believe it wouldn't start it either, but can't remember it's in the past. Got it done and fixed, but that was about $5,000. So some of these things can happen all at once. You can have blow out a tire, have a blow out, roadside, and it's on roadside, that's expensive, um, especially if you don't get it to a shop. So roadside is always going to hit you over the head and and get you. So you always want to, you know, avoid roadside when you can, for sure. Um, but, yeah, then you got oil, stuff like that. 
but it, it can definitely add up. And if sometimes when it rains and pours, and all the all the expenses and maintenance are hitting you all at once, it, it, it sucks. And not to mention even like toll bills. Toll bills can put people out of business because I've, I've seen it. I've experienced it. It's, it's stressful. So I already know out there for any guys that's, you know, had trucks in a has a wrecker had to come out and, and, and do some work, even for something very simple, it's going to cost you. So keep that in mind. All right. So number four is taxes. Taxes are, are any big thing with any business, especially in trucking. So taxes are going to be pretty much the biggest expense, whether you're paying them quarterly. Um, it's probably highly suggested. Uh, if you pay them at the end of the year, you're going to pay penalties and fines. So keep that in mind. Again, this is not financial advice. Uh, check with your CPA um, or lawyer about this stuff. So but this is just, you know, a little tip. But, yeah, taxes are, are a big thing. Uh, yeah, you better keep make sure you keep all your receipts uh, for anything that pertains to the business uh, or just anything. Because if you take it to your accountant, they'll be able to tell you, like, yes, this is good or no, this is not good. So keep every receipt that you can that's in your life because um, it could be said a uh, business expense because you got cars you got you obviously your maintenance repairs your notes for your truck or car uh, something in your personal life you could have your the home office there's a bunch of other stuff to go on list i'm not going to talk about it but yeah you can decrease your tax liability with all that pay less in taxes but again taxes are still a big thing at the end of the day and uh it has to be accounted for so yeah taxes are probably one of the other biggest expenses in the trucking industry and again check your cpa and they advise you on that. And like I said, keep our receipts and go from there. All right, number five, that's your equipment. Um, equipment nowadays, or it's been getting better, as y'all know. Or if you don't know, during pandemic, post-pandemic, just about, you know, 20, 2021, 2022, it's probably about the peak of it. Man, trucks were outrageous. They're, you know... They got a truck, you know, I'm looking in the market typically, you know, having a truck about 500,000 miles on it, and they wanted almost 100 grand for it. Then back, I'm going to go back to when my dad got his first truck. Shit, same same market, not same market, but it was, all right, let me go back. I'm looking at trucks about 500,000 miles, about four years old, give or take. So now I go back to when my, my dad got his truck. Um, it was 2017 and he got, uh, 2013. So it was four years older and about had a half a million miles on it. And I believe he paid like 42,000 for it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, somewhere around there. So you, as you can see, it's about double the cost. Um, even just, you know, right before the pandemic, it wasn't that crazy. It's gone up, obviously inflation, all the other things like that, but, um, it wasn't double the cost. Shoot, sometimes you can almost see about 1.5 the cost. Not the one point, not double cost, but 2.5 the cost, excuse me. So it's 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 been crazy. But it's coming down now. Um, because I could I did say I paid forty two thousand dollars for my truck, uh, as I said before, and if you don't know, now you know. Um and this and that was about eight hundred and some thousand miles on it. Same truck now. Uh damn near ten year old truck is about 30 32,000 uh they selling about four so it's down 10,000 so um yeah that's where we're at in the trucking market as of today so keep that in mind same thing for trailers trailers were up there uh i think my dad we started the reefer game and i'm going off of him even my uncle uh my dad's trailer was about 60,000 i believe it was a 2015 with a carrier on it uh, about 10,000, 10,000 hours, I want to say. It's clean, nice looking, everything. You know, I said, pay like 60,000 for it. Same trailer now. Actually, it went up in price prior to that. It was probably going for about 80 because he got it at a good time. Uh, so lucky he got it when he did. But then after that, same trailer was going for 80. But now it's about back down. It's, I probably same trailer would say it's, it's probably around 60, maybe even, maybe even less possible. So. Yeah, the equipment is going to be your biggest cost because you're playing with hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're playing with, you know, five-digit numbers typically. So it, and it, and this is all at once. So equipment is going to be a lot. And all right, number six, 
for y'all business owners out there or my owner operators or guys that, you know, obviously have someone else driving their truck, you got payroll. Um, payroll is probably the biggest thing next to fuel, honestly, because you're paying drivers between anywhere from 60 to 100,000, depending on their experience and whatnot and what they're doing. Um, yeah, you're almost paying $100,000. So your payroll is probably almost one of the biggest things besides, you know, fuel. Fuel, because fuel is probably the other biggest thing. Uh, like I said, this, this list is no particular order, but these are probably the the six biggest expenses you're going to do in a trucking company. Um, and I listed the five as an owner-operator, and I just gave you all a sixth one there, is, you know, if you got a driver in a truck. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if I forgot anything or if you have any ideas and other expenses that uh, may pop up. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But I, y'all, uh, key to success out. Deuces, y'all.